Hello, everyone. We're about to play our, uh, what match is this? I don't know. Some match in, <laughs> um, with our uh, Mono Black Eldrazi deck. I do think this hand's a keep. We do need to draw a third land, but on the draw, I think we can do it um, because we have Filigree Familiar into Distended Mindbender, and it looks like that'll probably be good for us. Um, we may end up using one of our Black Man on Ether Hub. We, we still need to draw land, so yeah, it's... This is interesting. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to forego casting Transgress here and just get a Swamp. Sets things up better on future turns, at least, so I can go Filigree Familiar Mindbender. So our opponent might also be some kind of Eldrazi deck with the amount of colorless lands they seem to be playing. Uh, maybe we have to forego that for a turn because the other land we drew is also an Evolving Wild. So let's Transgress the Mind and see what we're up against here. Yes, it's a got to be an Eldrazi deck of some kind that tries to ramp. Also, I think we take out a Hedron Archive. Keeping our opponent to one of those doesn't seem like a bad plan. Um, and we'll get another Swamp. So we had to sort of slow ourselves down there, which is less than ideal. But there's our Sanctum of Ugin. Um, so we probably play Filigree Familiar, and then maybe just Reality Smasher next turn. He depends on how many cards my opponent has in their hand, if I want a Mind Bender. But we definitely play our Familiar here. Play our Ether Hub. When we looked at their hand, all they had was two Hedron Archives and Titan's Presence. Um, if I play this, I also get to search up another Eldrazi when I cast my Mind Bender. I think I attack for two first. There's a chance our opponent has Titan's Presence, but I bet they don't want to use it on this thing. If I'm wrong, you know, we have a decent alternate play, but yeah, we'll get in for two. Good. And then we will cast Emerge with Emerge. Um, and pay four mana. Look at our opponent's hand. We know we're going to get Titan's Presence at least. And we may even get a big Eldrazi too, which we're going to sacrifice that. And I think we get Thought Knots here. So we have like a good follow-up. So keep messing with our opponent's hands. Okay, so... Which of these is more relevant right now? We only get to get one of them, given the way our opponent's mana is. If we draw a land, we probably just play Reality Smasher next turn. Um, Titan's Presence has a better chance of being able to kill my creatures, most of them, so I think we go for it. It's too bad our mana did to us what it did. There was a chance... We did draw a land, so that's good. Um, we had a chance to... Uh, do that do this a lot sooner which meant we could have hit a hedron archive but we didn't do it so yeah, our opponent has a lot of mana right now we know he still has spatial contortion he's not super far away from doing this nonsense either um actually he's spawning bed Spawning Bed will let him do it next turn. Unless we... Well, even killing one thing isn't going to deal with that problem. Hmm. Freaking Westvale Abbey is going to get me here, it feels like. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has plenty of mana to do it. We have one kill spell. Oh, he has a card in exile, huh? He does, that's right. Um, so we probably have to kill a Scion and another Scion. We're going to attack first, but I think that's what we're going to have to do here. Um... He could use... No, we took away Spatial Contortion. No, we, he still has Spatial Contortion. But if, if he does that... Hmm. I 
Let's just do it now. Let's just uh, kill one of these. Probably sack it for mana. That's what he should do anyway. Um, and then play Wasteland Strangler and kill another one. Spatial Contortion can kill the Strangler, but... We don't really want to let our opponent get Westvale Abbey. We don't really have a good way of stopping that. Um... All right. Yep. Makes sense. Then we attack with our Mindbender. Well, we're not going to die to Spawning Bed now. Our opponent may have drawn a big Eldrazi, but... Doesn't quite, he doesn't have a ton of mana right now. Well, that helps. Thought not. <laughs> okay. What would you like? You can probably take my thought nots here, I would guess. No, Reality Smasher. Interesting, interesting. Play our thought nots here. Take out a Titan's Presence. Attack with the Mindbender. We'll also play Eldrazi Mimic. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Blinded Fen's actually pretty good right here. Especially if he doesn't play any other creatures. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he doesn't have the mana to, so we're going to go... Ask our opponent to lose their Thought Knots here. We draw a card. Attack with everybody. And we end our turn. Because he has Spawning Beds and Westvale Abbey, we're still like a little, a little on edge here. About our ability to win the game because of that. Uh, so, um, I'm going to play the Strangler to make my Mimic a 3-2. Actually, I'm just going to play Scrap Heap Scrounger to make it a 3-2. Yeah. Smasher would be nice right now thanks to its Trample. Um... If any of these hit him, he's dead. So we'll see how many spawning bed tokens he can make. I think he can only make three, in which case I may actually use Titan's Presence to kill one of them. Yeah, so we're just going to kill one of them, and that'll win us the game, because we just have to get in for two here. So an Eldrazi Mirror of Sorts, although our opponent's deck is much more much rampier than ours. Yeah. All right. So, what do we even want? Not exactly a matchup I was envisioning. Um, I guess Transgress is good, and I guess Distended Mindbender is pretty good, too, even though the one we played kind of whiffed. Um, Strangler's okay. I guess I don't hate Flaying Tendrils, but... It's not incredible or anything. Um, no. No, none of those are really, really calling my name. 
Um, yeah, I guess I like the Strangler a little more than Contortion. Yeah. Since it's at least, you know, a creature. Okay, I think this is a reasonable keep. Yeah, maybe we should have... We probably should have one Westvale Abbey in this deck, honestly. I mean, we're not going to go wide very often, but on the off chance we do, it is a pretty powerful card that happens to produce colorless mana, which is something we're interested in. So we'll play Matter Reshaper next turn. Okay, Warping Whale. Could, opponent could thought not right now. Damn it. <laughs> probably takes away Matter Reshaper. I would think. Maybe I'm wrong. Wouldn't mind drawing a creature who can just make Thought Not Seer dead. They went after the Strangler. Well, Transgress isn't bad. Um, man, I have another Thought Not Seer waiting for us. We're going to play Matter Reshaper. Our opponent is like mono colorless, which is pretty cool. I just thought cards like Transgress and um, Wasteland Strangler were too good to leave out. And there's his Matter Reshaper. Um, that sucks that we no longer have a way like to just kill his Matter Reshaper. Um, we will transgress our opponent's mind, though. My God, that is. That is scary. Um, I'm going to take the Smasher in my turn. I'll trade my Matter Reshaper for his, uh, I think. Yeah, we just take that, though. Mm, yeah, that's what we wanted. I'm playing the cards I already knew I had in my hand, if you're wondering why I'm playing the lands the way I am, so that we can at least bluff that we have something that we can use Titan's Presence with. Um, it looks like we're going to get run over this time. All right, yeah, we're going to block his Matter Reshaper with our Matter Reshaper. Wow. <laughs> All three of our Titan's Presences, really? So Oblivion Sower now. Yeah, that hurts. We probably want to bring in Murder for our Spatial Contortions. And we are done. We could bring in Murder instead of Titan's Presence, too. As obnoxious as it was in that game, it is tempting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little harder for a deck to cast, but we can cast it. Um, yeah. I think that's good. Leave one Titan's Presence in, two Spatial Contortions. Yeah. Sounds good. I would like to play first. Ooh, interesting. So... We have to rely on drawing lands to really get there with this hand. So I think we do have to send it back, even though we can play our Scrounger. And if we go land, land, it's actually a really good hand. Um, but I think we got a mulligan. This one I will keep. Um, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Um, I'm going to shuffle my library anyway, so what do I care? I want to do it just in the event that I draw something I can play on turn two, so. Won't have any problem casting murder this time. Okay. Yeah, we need a faster aggressive start against this deck than we than we got last game. That's, I think, pretty key. Uh, I guess we can get a wastes. We have enough, we have enough black floating around. Ooh, that's great. That is really good. If we get to fire off our Mindbender next turn, which I think we will, we're going to be in really good shape in this game.
I think I'd rather do it than Thought Knots here, because obviously two cards is better. Uh, okay. I mean, he may play his Thought Knots here now is the bad news. No, just a matter reshaper. I'm more okay with that. Uh, did we just play Thought Knots here now too? All right, instead. Um, no, I think we probably want to mind bend here. Good. Oh, very good. So Warping Whale, go away. And our opponent doesn't actually have much ramp right now. And we're going to be able to play Thought Knots here before our opponent can do any of the things he has in his hand anyway. Um, well, unless he draws a land, then he can play Reality Smasher. So I think we go after Reality Smasher. Good. Murder is nice. Um, we'll take it. Not really worth the risk of something happening there. Um, now we're going to play Thought Not Seer number one. Oh, God. Look at all this. All this silliness. Um, I think I'm going to get Oblivion Sower here. That's the card in his hand that most likely can help him get to where he needs to be to, like, play some things. So we're going to attack with Distended Mindbender. Play Unknown Shores. Probably should have left one black up, I guess, but... Okay. So now we play another Thought Knot. I'm about to not leave black up again. And now we go after Conduit of Ruin, which can also help him get to playing these huge dudes. Um, I don't know if I really want him to be drawing a card right now. I think I'm just going to attack with Distended Mindbender this turn. Next turn I can use Murder or Spatial Contortion to make sure we just hit for a ton of damage. He got, his re he got a Reality Smasher. That's not great for us. He can cast it right away. We can kill it, but we have to give up two cards to do it. That's probably what we're going to end up doing, though, since it makes our swing really potent. Um, so, yeah, and now the card we give up, we don't really care that much. In fact, we can just get it back. So it's kind of, kind of nice now that we drew that. So we're going to go Murder... Discard that, um, and then we just swing with everybody. Opponent goes to seven. We get back Scrap Heap Scrounger at the end of our opponent's turn, and they are more or less dead. Yeah, got there. All right, well, Eldrazi Ramp versus Mono Black Eldrazi Midrange uh, was an interesting match, but it's one we won, so let's go on to the next.